1954. The world was introduced to a gigantic, unidentified creature, Godzilla. At 50 meters tall and weighing 20,000 tons, it is the largest animal ever discovered. Dr. Yamane speculates on the origins of Godzilla. It may be an ancient animal from the Jurassic period. He woke up because he was exposed to radiation from a hydrogen bomb experiment. He destroyed Tokyo until the entire city became a sea of flames. But in the end, with the cooperation of Dr. Serizawa, he sacrificed himself to kill Godzilla with his undisclosed secret weapon. That secret died with him and Godzilla. We don't know much about Godzilla, but from interviews with villagers on Odo Island, the place where Godzilla was first seen and photographed. The villagers on this Odo Island Godzilla's existence has been known for a long time, so long that it has become an urban legend. The elders said that Godzilla lives around the island and will migrate back and forth according to the seasons. It was a ferocious, terrifying animal with its enormous size causing it to eat a lot of sea animals, and when there's not enough food it will come up to the shore to eat people. That causes a time when the fish in the sea are so low that fishermen are unable to catch fish. They'll know right away that Godzilla has returned. That later led to the emergence of a ritual of worship. By putting women on boats, it becomes a tribute to Godzilla. Locals on Odo Island have been doing this for generations. What's interesting about this ritual is that it stopped only 10 years ago, after no appearance of Godzilla for nearly a hundred years. Most of the young women sent out to sea disappeared and were presumed to have died in the middle of the ocean. But, after the official appearance of Godzilla and its death, we have been looking for old information. It was discovered that in a Japanese newspaper in 1933, there was talk of a fisherman rescuing a woman who was floating alone on a small raft in the middle of the sea. We followed her and found out her whereabouts. She does not wish to be named, but we convinced her to tell us what happened. This Japanese woman told an incredible story. She comes from a typical fishing family but her parents were very traditional. And even though Godzilla hasn't appeared in a long time, some villagers consider it just a myth. But people on the island still have this ritual of worship, and she was chosen. Her parents were delighted and honored. Of course, the girl herself didn't want to die like that, but in the end, she was forced to put her on a raft. Tears flowed from her eyes throughout the ritual. She says she can't do anything but accept her fate. She doesn't believe in Godzilla. She knew she would starve to death at sea, or meet a shark and eat her, or there was a storm and the boat capsized. But no matter what, she will die. But in the end, she was lucky that a fishing boat from another place found her and came to help and she told the story of what she had been through. As a result, people on Odo Island permanently canceled this tradition. As for the female victim, she never returned to the island again. She currently lives in Osaka. She also said there was one more thing she didn't tell reporters or police at the time. Because she thought no one would believe her, she said she met Godzilla. After seeing the news of Godzilla attacking Tokyo, she remembers that dorsal fin well. On the second day, she was adrift in the middle of the sea before being rescued by a boat on the fifth day on the horizon in the evening. She saw a large dorsal fin swim by, definitely not a shark. It was too big to be a shark. It was swimming towards the boat she was on. At first, 
She thought this was the end for her, but in the end, it swam and dived. This made her both relieved and disappointed. Because if that is the legendary Godzilla, at least she died following the crazy tradition. After Godzilla appears in Tokyo, it went on to prick her heart. But when Godzilla died, she felt relieved that she didn't have to think about her youth. After the interview ended, she went on with her normal life. Married, have a husband, have children. Life should return to normal. But... 1955. As Dr. Yamane predicted, Godzilla was not the only one. Years later, a new Godzilla appeared. And there are also new types of monsters appearing. And I don't know if it was fate or something else. He appeared in Osaka, where the woman lives. But as far as I know, Osaka authorities have already ordered people to evacuate the area. I hope that that woman will move past this incident. I hope 